At this point, we've adjusted everything. So let's turn on all three channels and go ahead and snap an image. What Snap does is it takes a single um, image with all the settings you have here. Okay. Um, and so here's that image. How do you save this or what happens when you snap? You'll notice that every time you snap an image, the software creates a new image file. These files are saved automatically um, on the hard drive in a temporary location. So if the software crashes, you won't lose your files. But if you close the software and you don't save these, it will delete these files from the temporary location. Uh, what I recommend is once you have images that you want, just save them by clicking here. And you want to save them on the D drive in user data and then find your folder and save them there. Um, so I'm going to make a folder for myself. Um, and I'm just going to save this image there. Okay, and you can see that when I save it, this weird icon goes away. Now, because every time you hit snap or you know, start experiment, which we'll go over later, it creates a new file, uh, it can quickly become very cluttered here. So I recommend you, you know, close things that you're uh, not interested in. Uh, and you can kind of close multiple things at once if you want um, by clicking here. And if you say unselect all, it'll close everything up. Okay. Um, so that's how you snap an image and save it. Um, let's now discuss how to take a Z stack.